Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Right guys, so let's get into it. Today we have yet another story for you guys about Nikki Exotica, the trans woman on this season of 90 Day Fiance and her Moldovan uh, fiance, Justin, aka Igor, which is his real name. And these two are once again in the news. They kind of have been in the news quite a lot recently, a lot of controversy with these two from the kind of blatant cloud chasing to the controversy surrounding their age. And we're going to talk a little bit about their age gap and also the age gap when they met because some people are saying that perhaps Nikki groomed Justin and this is why he was so confused and why he went along with being in a relationship uh, with a trans woman even in those first few years when he didn't know about it just like we heard Nikki say that you know she only told Justin a little while after they started dating that she was trans and that was basically in a fit of anger almost as in a way to kind of get back at Justin to try to hurt him uh, which was really despicable behavior uh, in my opinion so we got a couple of parts of this video we're going to talk a little bit about the age gap and we're also going to talk about what Justin posted on the internet just recently because it's pretty shocking he has been videoed he videoed himself actually in a Nazi uniform and I really don't know what he was thinking. He had a bit of a Prince Harry moment. If you guys know, maybe you don't. Prince Harry, back in the day, went out to a party in a Nazi uniform. And he got blasted for it. Uh, so much so that even some almost 20 years later, he's still getting flack for it. So uh, we're going to talk about those two things. And whether, you know, Justin dressing up in a Nazi uniform could mean that he might get canceled off the show. Because people have gone and canceled for doing racist things in the past. All right, let's take a look at this article here. So first we're gonna um, talk a little bit about Nikki's age because there's been some controversy, some confusion about that. So Nikki the fiance Nikki uh, um, Exotica's age has been a mystery to viewers, but she confirmed that she is currently 47 years old. Nikki met her partner Justin when he was 20 and she was 30, debunking rumors about their age gap. I believe Justin or Igor was actually 19 when they met. They are about 11 years apart. Nikki has experienced cyberbullying and is dealing with mental health issues due to the negative attention from being on reality TV. Now, I find this very interesting, this part right here, because I feel like this happens almost any time that we have some people clearly cloud chasing, come on the show, they're clearly phony, and they just want to grab you know, attention and the spotlight, and then they get called out for it. And then we start digging a little bit into their past. And then we find some things that are unsavory. And then we start reporting about it. And then all of a sudden, these people start having these emotional and mental problems. This happens almost every time when people are unprepared. People think they're going to get a nice, easy ride, you know, a lot of PR without having to put in any work with, you know, perhaps just lying your way to success really I think is what a lot of people think and it just doesn't work that way. All right, so let's take a look at this article here. Nicole Sanders, a.k.a. Nikki Exotica's real age, has been a mystery to viewers uh, of 90 Day Fiancé Season 10, but the newcomer is putting the speculation to rest. Nikki stars in the reality TV show with her partner Igor, a.k.a. Justin. Nikki's a performer and makeup artist by profession. Nikki and Justin met 17 years ago in Moldova. She was there to locate her Russian boyfriend, who had been deported, but found out that he was hiding a girlfriend there. Nikki found Justin on a dating app and got engaged to him two years later. Nikki and Justin's age gap has been controversial since it seemed like he was too young when he met her. And we're going to go on Reddit after we uh, go through this article and we'll see what some people over there have uh, to say about this because it's not it, <laughs> people have a lot to say about this. Nikki's own age has been questioned by viewers. And her age during uh, the season 10 is 47. She's been an internet celebrity for quite some time. Online articles about her cite different ages. Since no one could confirm how old she was, she took it upon herself to address the rumors. She used Instagram stories to confirm it. And she says, you, you internet trolls are really funny. Real date of birth is uh, January 27, 1976. Real age is 47. Again, I met my love when he was 20 and I was 30. 
Uh, stop with the false narratives. Let's see if there's anything else. I've been getting so many death threats and people telling me to kill myself amongst being dragged all over the internet. I've never in my life experienced this amount of online trans hate and cyberbullying on a massive level. This whole reality TV thing is new to me. My mental health is drained. Now, okay, let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. This whole reality TV thing is new to me. Now, that is BS, guys, because we just did a video about two days ago where we went through Nikki's, you know, CV of reality TV uh, appearances. She had about four, perhaps five. She's had a lot of reality TV experience in the past. Uh, she's appeared on Botched. Uh, she's appeared on a bunch of different shows that we went through in that video. If you guys haven't watched the video, I suggest you go watch it because we go through all of them in that video. So this is just not true. Nikki has not only been on reality TV, but she's tried to actually create her own reality TV show. So saying this is just, this is complete bollocks. It's just complete nonsense. It's not true right here. I'm not disputing that perhaps she's dealing with some stress, but saying that this whole reality TV thing is new to me, that is just not true. My mental health is drained. I'm depressed and have so much anxiety. I don't even want to leave my house or my bed lately. If I stop posting anymore, just know I love you all. I'm just taking a break from social media. My heart can't take it anymore uh, or take any more pain. My publicist will be ruining or running actually my social media until I heal. And uh, then somebody says, whoa, how did you make your implant disappear for Halloween? I actually lost my breast completely due to an infection and needed multiple reconstructions over two and a half years to fix it. It was one of the most traumatizing experiences of my life, aside from being botched in 2005 by an incompetent surgeon operating on drugs. So I met the best of the bad situation and played a botched patient and won three costume contests and over $3,000 in cash. Uh, I guess this is a picture of her botched face. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. That looks pretty bad. Now, it's, of course, not very good quality, but uh, that looks kind of scary. We can't even tell if it's her, but it looks kind of scary. What happens if he, uh, he wants to be a father? What would you do? Surrogacy. So if Justin wants to be a father, uh, they, uh, you know, they would get somebody else basically to, um, you know, carry the baby. Thank you, my love. I really do uh, have to understand his side and have more patience with him and the way he expresses his love to me. I have a totally different love language than him. I'm Latina, so I'm more passionate and more of a sexual spirit. But when two couples love each other, you must compromise and it can be one sided. Okay, so we kind of saw uh, what Nikki said there. Um, you guys let me know. You know, we went through uh, what she's saying there. You guys let me know if you buy it or if you don't. Now, like I said, I gave my opinion, at least on one part, which is the part that uh, Nikki says she has no experience with reality TV. That is just not true. Now, the other stuff, you know, I don't know. You guys let me know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that Nikki is undergoing all this massive stress, emotional trauma, psychological trauma from the hate? Uh, do you believe she got uh, death threats? Honestly, uh, not that I want to take any away from that, but uh, people will often say that, uh, you know, come on the show and say they're, they're getting tons of death threats and then not really release any information. And so when you have somebody that's already kind of sketchy, that's already kind of cloud chasing, you got to question if it's true or not, because they're not showing any receipts. We don't know what's going on. So I think that's my position there. Without any receipts, I think it's fair game to question. So how old was Justin? Uh, he was 20, as we said. Uh, and then she said, stop with the uh, trans narratives. And then she's using stop with the trans hate. I'm not sure if it's trans hate. I don't know if the 90 Day Fiance fan base um, has trans hate per se. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they do. I'm not going to say one way or another. But I will say one thing. When you, as a trans person, admits to tricking the man justin into not knowing that he was with a trans person and then dropping that huge bombshell later in a fit of rage basically to try to hurt him i think it's going to lead to some hate and perhaps some some trans hate and i actually think that kind of behavior is actually damaging to the trans community because there are still some people out there 
Uh, I don't know how many or anything, but I know there are still some people out there that just don't view this community in a positive light and still think that some of these trans people, they're just trans people because they want to trick men into getting into bed with them. And so when you have that and you're kind of trying to change that narrative still to this day, and then you act that way, I think that's just not just highly damaging to Nikki, but I feel like it's doing a disservice to the entire community. And I think that people are right to call her out on that. So uh, she goes on about dealing with cyberbullying on a massive level. I'm not sure that I've seen that. And her mental health has been drained. Uh, and uh, as we see here, even in this article by Screen Rant, who is not always the most cynical, but N they say that Nikki was featured in several reality TV series before 90 Day. She filmed for Botch. Uh, she was reportedly kicked out of the show, as we covered before. She was also on Jersey Licious. She also featured on Judge Janine Pirro's show and made appearances on Maury, The Tyra Banks Show, The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I'm not sure if we actually covered The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, but supposedly she made appearances there as well. And as we said before, she tried to pitch her own show called Secret Girls, but it was just unsuccessful. Now, Nikki and Justin did break up for the first time when Nikki told her partner that she was trans. Justin, of course, was shocked and depressed after learning the truth. He felt betrayed. I'm assuming that Nikki hid this uh, from him for years. The couple reconnected 15 years ago uh, when both were single. They decided to go on a vacation to Mexico where they got engaged all over again. And during 90 Day Fiancé Season 10, Nikki is in Moldova before Justin's second K-1 visa gets approved. Despite the love she asked for him, she's skeptical about whether he has really changed and whether she's making the right decision by getting married to him. Now, I do believe that a lot of this is just... it's. It's not real. I believe a lot of this is just uh, for the show. Now, let's show you guys what is going on with Justin because he is in, he has his own issues. Uh, and let's see uh, where I put uh, this uh, video. Here we go. So I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play the, the music. It's uh, Sex Bomb, I believe, by Tom Jones, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, uh, he is just dancing away to to this music and he is wearing a Nazi uh, uniform. And I believe I saw, not sure if it was on this page. This is on 90 Day Fiance Junkie on Instagram. You guys can go and check it out. Um, I believe I saw on a different page a close up and uh, a side by side with the same hat. And it was it was basically the same thing, basically confirming that. This is a Nazi uniform. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't really know what went through his mind here. Why did Justin, a.k.a. Igor, decide to dress up in a, in a Nazi uniform while he's driving? Uh, maybe this is for Halloween. I don't know. This is just so weird because he deleted this post off of his Instagram. So I can go and check it and, and see what he said. And, you know, if he had any comments just to kind of gauge the situation there. But it's very odd to me that he would do this. Um, perhaps he just was ignorant. I don't know how you can be ignorant about this. <laughs> it's just something that you just don't do ever. I don't know if he was trying to send a message or something. I don't. I really don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he. It was just an innocent mistake. I don't know. But it's one of those mistakes that you just really can't make in my opinion, because it hints once you put on a Nazi uniform and Nazi, of course, killed thousands, I mean, millions of Jews, millions of Roma people and all kinds of other people, disabled people, basically anyone that was just not pure Aryan, they wanted to exterminate. Um, and then you're wearing this, this uniform. I don't know what message that sends. It's not a good one. It's not funny. It's just tasteless and silly. And it leads people to question whether, you know, I don't know. Is this something you support? Like, are you a closet racist? Like, what's going on here? Uh, you know, like, what do we need to know about Justin? And we know that in the past, some people got fired for, you know, their racist past. Like, Alina Kasha got fired. Uh, and um, so you got to wonder here, does TLC have to do something about this does tlc have to release a statement does tlc have to remove justin from the show uh does tlc have to cut the justin and nikki 
segments from the show. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Does something have to be done about this, uh, you know, for TLC to make it right? Uh, or is just is this just, you know, an oopsie mistake and then we just move on? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. It's just weird. I don't know what he was thinking. It's so stupid to me that he would do this uh, and not realizing what the backlash might be. So this is it, guys. This is the story for today. So more Nikki and Justin drama. So Nikki, of course, having emotional issues, psychological issues because of all the backlash, all the negativity that she's getting from being on the show. And like I said, it's really hard for me to see that Nikki did not think this was going to happen before coming on the show, especially as you know, if you're looking to see what happened with previous cast members, especially those that were phony, where there was tons of holes in their storylines, especially with those cloud chasers. It's hard to see that those people did not get ripped for all their hypocrisy before if you look at anything on the internet. So, and it's just, it just doesn't pass the smell test that Nikki wouldn't have done her research, especially considering that she's tried to be on so many reality TV shows in the past. So that's Nikki's problem. Justin dealing with his own problem, wearing a Nazi uh, uniform and now getting accused of being a racist. And so these two creating so much drama on the season of 90 day fiance so you guys let me know what you make of this whole thing in the comment section down below hope you guys did enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up if you did please hit that subscribe button for more content right here on the channel and more 90 day fiance updates news and spoilers and i will see you guys on the next one take care